A wimbo way, a wimbo way, a wimbo way, a wimbo way. A wimbo wumbo way. A Bearded Football Show with Bo the Beard. Welcome back to the Bearded Football Show, episode two. Today I've been joined by a self-proclaimed funny man who has took the time out of sitting outside the Ned to come and join us. Crazy Ginger Cabby, John, How are Mr. You? Aaron. How are you? Thank you for coming, mate. You all right? Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me, mate. No worries, it's mate. No pleasant. problem. Up the thanks John's. for taking out your time of your day. I know you're busy. Busy man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've told the buds at the Ned to uh, save my spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'll be back to pick up old Craigo. Craigo? Yeah. With his oats? With his oats. Good lad, Hopefully mate. he's done all the oats. I hope there's not more than six of them tonight, mate. Yeah, true. But then I'll you... be seven, so we'll be banging trouble. Yeah, well, Craigo, I bet only about with four of them. Yeah, well, yeah. I won't grass him up. Yeah, he's yeah. a good tipper. <laughs> he's a good tipper. He uses his uncle's money. Oh, all right, mate. Let's crack right on then. Obviously, on, fellow Gooner. Yes. We've had plenty of passionate discussions in the past in our Gooner group. Uh, yep. Until you fucked off because you've got 38,000 followers. Yeah, I had to. And you left us. I had to leave. So what was your view last week on the game? Obviously a at Fulham, nice 3-0 victory to start the season. Yep. What did you think of it? Uh, I mean, it is Fulham. I mean, I don't want to be disrespectful too much to Fulham. It's a newly promoted team. Yeah. Um, going into it, though, being Arsenal fans, yeah, yeah. we do get a little bit pessimistic. Of course. So I think years before, we probably would have still conceded one or two yeah. and maybe got a red card. Yep. And then fucked ourselves in the arse. Probably. Yeah. But you have to take the free. You take the free nil, of course. Hundred percent. I'm. I'm. I, I, to be honest with you, I'm more impressed with the with the clean sheet because everyone yeah, yeah, gives totally. a shit about our defence. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it it could be better, but the additions that we brought in, like Saliba back from on loan from being on loan, and yeah. Gabriel. Yeah. I think um, is a bit more a bit more balance. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll touch on Gabriel a bit more in a minute, obviously, because you're a cent you're a centre half when yep. you play. Yeah. But what was your view on Willian? Because obviously there was a lot of fans who was out there who were saying they weren't sure about him, his age, coming from Chelsea, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. But what was your view on him? Because I thought he was fantastic. And I thought, he, like you said, the balance he brought to that team yeah. was perfect, was yeah. what we was after. I think it is. I mean, it, it can, I mean we, we can be quite sort of one-dimensional down that left side, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially with Aubameyang down there. It, it all goes through him. I know Aubameyang scored his goal, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's full from Willian. And I... His performance, I thought, was bang on. You know what you're getting with him. Yeah, yeah All right. totally. He's a little bit older, yeah. but you need that experience. He's a born winner. Yeah. I mean, let's have it right. Chelsea have been winning things for the past couple of years. Quite a lot of serious stuff. Um, obviously not too too recently, and we've smashed them up in the FA Cup and yeah, that. Happy days. Um, but yeah, I think... I think uh, He's a great addition, yeah. and he, I think he's done very, 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 very yeah, well. Yeah, same. I think he'll help Pepe as well because at the minute there's a lot of pre there's a lot of pressure on Pepe. It obviously comes with a 72 million pound price tag. Yes. And then when he's getting dropped in the team for players like Nelson and that, it's a little bit demoralising for him. But to yeah. get someone like Willian in, who's older, more experienced, if he isn't starting ahead of Willian, there's no reason for him to beat himself up. No, it's I'm just someone sure. that he should look up to yeah. and try and learn from. Absolutely. I think I think he having someone like Willian in front of him. Mm can only be good for him. Mm. Having someone, let's say, younger than him and just coming through the ranks, you're probably going to think, am I doing something wrong? Of course. Naturally. But having Willian in there, just watch what he does, gets into space, creates space for himself mm -hmm. and uses the ball in the right way. Doesn't waste possession yeah. too much, Willian. No, he didn't, you know he I, mean? did, I didn't think he did against Fulham either. I think there was one opportunity when he cut, when he's cut he's inside the box and he wasted it. But apart from that, I thought everything he'd done yeah. Well, superb. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go, obviously, the centre half, as you said. Yeah. You're a big centre half. Slightly swollen, yeah. I'm a big centre half. Yeah. I think we're a little bit different in stature and the way we would play. I you think look, so. Yeah, you look a bit more like if in doubt, kick it out. Yeah. I'm a bit more Cruyff turns in the box. Yeah, you know what I mean? Take your chance, like yeah, John yeah, yeah. Stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I try to give it large. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what did you think of Gabriel? Quality, mate. I, yeah. like, I like, do you know what? I like the left peg. I'm left footed. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I like left footed players in general I think they're a bit more cultured yeah um, but having a left footed centre half I haven't probably been this excited since we got Vermaelen Vermaelen had a great first season he did then scored he on debut didn't he yeah yeah and then, yeah. He, and then he found I don't know the lights of London and a few brasses probably yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you probably took him there possibly probably I, yeah, yeah. yeah without a doubt I, I, <laughs> he's going to fuck me in the arse for saying that <laughs> uh, he paid me good money to shut up actually but mm. he's left now so uh, but he, he shafted us but with Gabriel I think um Yet again, I know people aren't David Luiz's 
like David Luiz isn't everyone's biggest, um, greatest defender that we've yeah, got yeah. at the club. I just think that having his experience there, yeah. Brazilian, just it can only help. Yeah, absolutely. Just listen to him. Like yeah, yeah. again, David Luiz, he's won things. All right, he's a bit erratic, but he's still won things. So mm. just just learn from people around you. And Gabriel, I think he will. Uh, if he doesn't start the rest of the season, like he should be, he should start every single game. So what are you going opinion. with then? Are you going with a three at the back, or do you want to go with a four and a couple of centre halves? And if you want to go with a four, who are you going with in the middle? I think it's it, it's it's all dependent on on uh, your opposition. Yeah. Um, I just David Luiz, as everyone knows, is probably better in a three. Mm -hmm. um, as a two, I love Rob Holding. There we are. Yeah, fucking love Rob Holding. Really? Yeah. So you want to get rid of him? Nah, not a chance. Chambers can fuck off. Sorry, Callum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, no, Rob Oldham, mate. It's just when him and Pear played against Chelsea and Costa in that cup yeah, final yeah, a few yeah. years ago. Yeah. And he was like, I'm fucking in your head, mate. You, you've got him. I, I love that. But, yeah, again, that's with the experience with Pear ne next to him. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? He's listening. Pear's done it. He's won World Cups. He's, he's been there. Oh, he's a fucking, turns like a yeah, yeah. Fucking no, no, no. I, I, I can agree. I, I can understand that. My only thing with Rob is I don't know how many centre halves we actually need as a squad. And I think when we're in the position that we are financially, I think he might be one that you need to take some of the thing on. Because you've got Gabriel, True, yeah. you've got Saliba, you've got David Luiz, you've got Pablo Mari. But what I will say about. though is with Holding, he's got the experience of being in the Prem. All right, he's not the quickest, but then Saliba. Yeah. Yeah, he's been in the French league on loan and whatnot. Yeah. He ain't tried and tested in the Prem. What's he going to play in the League no, Cup? Yeah, FA no, no, Cup? I get, I get, so, so you prefer Rob over Chambers? 100%. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have to disagree. Comfortably. We're going to have to disagree, mate. But Chambers, for me, he ain't a centre half. He ain't a right back either. So where are you putting him? Centre mid. mid. He, but he, That's what he done for Fulham, didn't he? Yeah, good squad player. Old in mid. He knows. He, listen, he ain't getting in front of Xhaka. Yeah. He yeah. Ain't, probably ain't even getting in front of Torreira. I just, I just think Chambers should. Uh, like a few of the players, yeah, yeah, yeah. should accept their roles within the football club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a, the Arsenal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, if you yeah, do yeah. want to go on and do bigger and better things, and you feel that you can, and you want to, you want to play every week, go and do it. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But I think Arteta's got the group. Yeah, yeah. Now, and he's taking no shit. Look so who are the few? Because you just said there's a few players who should know their role. So who are they? Kalasinac. Yeah. Should know Chambers, obviously. Uh, Mustafi, mm. people rage about. I, do, I don't hate Mustafi. No, no, I, I never have. No, hate's a strong word. I don't hate him. I just think he know he should know his role. Like the, the amount of times that he tries to beat a player to that, like when the ball get played into feet, and see, he gets the, turned all the time. No, no, no. I, the thing I have to stick up for with Mustafi is even when we had Emery, and now we've gone into Arteta, we're trying. We've always trying to play from the back. Yep. Yeah, Emery did try it. I know it didn't work, but he tried it. And I think the pressure that was on him until David Luiz come in. Mustafi was the only ball playing centre half, play half yeah. who could do anything. He was shit. He was. He was. He weren't as great as what we got now. But yeah. I, there was a few times where he played a few passes, and you look at him and you're like, "Fucking hell, mate! Where have you pulled that out of the bag yeah. from?" I just, yeah. Again, you got to know your role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like push your boundaries, but know your limits, and that's where you have a bit of experience. Like David Luiz can play out from the back. Prefers playing out from the back. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking listen to him. Yeah, Don't yeah. Don't care. You played for Germany, full international. Just fucking listen to what's going on around yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, Bellerin. I was going to ask you about him. What do you think? I think he's he's banging trouble. You think? Yeah, I think Cedric is a fucking, he's a better uh, ball distributor. Um, yeah. See, I think people forget that Cedric's there because we haven't seen that much of him. Yeah, but Beller, Bellerin, for, for a few years, like even being injured and whatnot, he knows that when he comes back from an injury, bang, he's, he's, he knows that he's straight back in. Of course. But now, I don't think he does. And I, I, yet again, with Arteta, I think he's... He doesn't give anyone a fucking like, oh, you've done all right for me in the past, yeah, or yeah. you can slip back in. No. Oh. See, I'm with you because Bellerin, I spoke about this last week as well about the fullbacks and how good you have to be now to be a fullback. Love is, Tierney. It's, it's the, yeah, exactly. And Bellerin isn't delivering like Tierney. No. Whereas, for me, I wouldn't even have Cedric there. I, I'm going to put Maitland Niles in yeah. over at the back. Over at the but, back. He, but, he's, but he's a player and all Maitland yeah. Niles. He's got, he's got the brain of a midfielder. Exactly. He can play, and this is what Arteta wants. Arteta wants to be able to have everyone in the team. Look at Elneny. Who would have fucking thought Elneny would have started the first game of the season? Mate, he, played the ball. he played the bollocks yeah. as well, what, didn't he? He's what just a like game. a little recycle bin. He gets the ball and it's gone. He, ain't, he don't keep it. No. He's just moving he it. He don't dwell on it. And he I think, doesn't. Yeah, again, he, come, we're come moving through the team here, but like Granit Xhaka this time last season. But look how he's, he's been given a bit of confidence from Arteta. Mm. Uh, Xhaka sometimes 
dwells on the ball a little bit too long. But yeah. now he's getting the ball, gone. getting rid of the ball yeah, quicker. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like when we play it from the back, he knows that in the Prem, yeah. you can't take two, three touches. He's got to be at least it's one touch and gone. One and gone. It's got to be. Has to be. So given that you said that he doesn't like, uh, he ain't, you're not going to get a second chance under him under, just get one. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. need to earn it. Yeah. What are we doing with Guendouzi? Because he's a real, he really does split people's decisions. Yeah, there are I, people that love him. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a stickler for like a bit of passion. morals, principles, and and yeah, passion. He's got it in abundance. He can't pass. He can't shoot. He don't score goals. He just runs around. Yeah, yeah. a bit of an headless chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because we haven't had that for a while, all right, we had Cocklin used to do it, but then he would fucking win the ball, give it to Santi, Santi would do bing, bing, bing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Guendouzi, I don't think he's got the, at the time, I don't think he had the right people wrapped around him, and yeah. I don't think he's got, he didn't have the manager at the time to put his arm around him and say, look, rein it in, this yeah. is how we do it here. And Arteta's seen a few things clearly in training of what he's done and his comments to Malpe and all that, and it's, that's not how you fucking conduct yourself no. at Arsenal. So, Personally, I'd fucking get rid. Yeah, As yeah. I said, he don't, what does he bring to the team apart I, from being a, being a nuisance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I, I've never really known. I've never known what he does. I've always felt he just, like you said, he's an endless chicken. He just runs around. Arsenal fans like him because he's different. Yeah, yeah. He's not what we used to. But I'd like to see him, as you just said, <coughs> I'd like to see him in a midfield that Arteta's put together with players that can complement him or help him. Yeah. Because at the minute, he was getting, he got chucked in the deep end again. Like your first games at Man City, mate. Yeah. You're 18 years old, you just come from League Two. He's yeah. got no hope. Like he's, he didn't have a hope under Emery and in that. So I'd like to see him in an Arteta midfield with yep. players that can complement him. Yep. And then we'll see where he can go from there. I, th I do think, though, just quickly on him, is that everyone in that squad. Yeah under Arteta yeah. as the opportunity to earn the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You earn the right to win the love of the fans back. The main man now, mm -hmm. I think he's just secured himself legendary status. Yep. Right, man. he said it, yeah. yeah. I, I think, I think uh, yet again, non, no, how's that wasp? Yeah, mate, hang on. Did you eat it? Yeah, nearly, mate, yeah, it's nice. in my bed. It's for that fucking cushion. <laughs> um, I just, I think, um, listen, it's the London lights. It's, it's a great lifestyle. I mean, Alexis picked Arsenal over Liverpool because mm. it was a bit of London. I like to think it was Arsenal, but a yeah, yeah, yeah. bit of London. I just think with uh, Aubameyang, if he keeps on going on the way he has been, yeah. absolutely he will have a statue. Yep. And fucking rightly so, because there's, yep. so there's so many haters and other, fo other fans from other football clubs that would have loved to have seen him fucking of leave. Of course. Do you know what I mean? Oh, look, he's fucking gone. Who you got? Lacazette. Yeah, yeah, he ain't yeah, no yeah. fucking good. Well, he is. Yeah. He's decent. Yeah, But yeah. people hate the fact that we got a Bamiang. Of course they do. Because when he was at Dortmund, everyone was like, oh, he might go fucking Man City. He might go end up Real Madrid, Man United, even fucking Tottenham because they were bouncing around in the Champions League. Yeah. Oh, we'll get fucking a Bamiang. Nah, he's coming to Arsenal, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's staying. Yeah. Shit happens. Yeah, exactly. And you think of all the captains previously that have just upped and gone. Yeah, there's, there's, I mean, and it when Vieira left, yeah. all right, then Gilberto went in to be in the captain and then we gave it to fucking knobheads like Gallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and since Gallas, it's only ever been, it's just been a steady thing of, won't they go? Please they don't sign, leave. They go. Not another captain, yeah. not another please captain. Please don't leave. Not another captain. Yeah. And out of all the ones that have decided to piss off and leave, this man is probably the biggest one out of all of them. He didn't the have to stay. Yeah, and he didn't have to stay. He could have put, he could have gone anywhere yeah, he wanted to. Yeah, yeah. He had offers, they've yeah. already said that, and he decided to stay. So yeah. he said he he deserved the statue. Yeah. And undoubtedly I think he'll get one. And but yet again, I think this is testimony to Mikko Arteta and his again, approach yeah, to football. Yeah, yeah. People can talk all they want and you got fucking knobheads like Adrian Durham on the on, on the firm giving it basically no ambition. Don't tell me it's fucking because of Mikko Arteta, yeah, he hasn't done but, anything. Da, da, da. Get over it. it Stop being a bit of prick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get over it. it is Aubameyang Yang is down at Arsenal. Yeah, can't tell me he hasn't done anything because they blow up Pochettino's ass constantly. And what's he done apart from get to a final and lost? He needs his railings done. Yeah, he's seen his I've, teeth. Who? Pochettino. I can't really comment about teeth. So he I needs look like a wipe. I, I look like I've been chewing dynamite, so I tend to talk, not talk about teeth, to be honest. He needs you. a white one for a super set. <laughs> Fucking bad. Okay, you know, so, obviously, Saturday, yep. West Ham. Yep. What's your lineup? We've got, we're going, I'm going through at the back purely because I think we just need to go at them. I personally think you just don't change your winning team. Yeah, yeah same, same lineup. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I'm, the only thing I, I'm tempted is I'm tempted to chuck Pepe in. 
I am tempted. Because it's at home. But then yeah. again, there's no, there's no fucking fans. No, 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 no. People say, well, it don't make a difference, is it? You're yeah. all quiet. It's shit over the Emirates. That's not me. It's lively over there, mate. When I'm over there, Old it's red lively. action. When Rock I'm five. over there, it's lively. And next season, I'm taking cushions and I'm dashing them every yeah. time we score. It, fucking, there are only 60,000 cushions. They're going to launch them around the fucking stadium. <laughs> That's what they need. So, same team then we're going with, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I've, you know, but I actually think he might he might drop um, drop rest or whatever. It, he won't play Lacazette to play Pepe. Sling a down the middle. the middle, William on the left, left. Pepe on the right. Yeah, that could play an El Nene again yeah, with Jacker. Yeah. I think they've done pretty good. It's like I said, it's Fulham. Mm. Fulham will get relegated, mm. in my opinion. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they tried to knock it around good. Scotty yeah, Parker's yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. Do, a, do a thing there, but I just, yeah, three at the back. Tierney, I fucking love. He'll yeah, be so the future Arsenal captain. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, again, left foot. Yeah. Um, and he can play. Left wing back, or he can play yeah, left, left, center the, left center off. But Ga that Gabriel and Tierney, that left peg connection going down that side. Unbelievable. Yeah, abs that's what I think should happen. But yeah. then Maitland Niles can yeah, chop yeah, and change, yeah, keep yeah. him, keep, do him a right yeah. wing back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop yeah. Bellerin. Yeah, I think he'll keep. I think he'll keep playing Bellerin for a while. Obviously, the if, Spanish connection. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think he'll keep playing him. But then, like, I, like we said earlier, if I think an offer comes in, he'll let him go. Oh, Bellerin, yeah. Yeah, I think he will. Wow. I think he'll let him go. If an offer comes in, I think he'll let him go. Pro yeah, but price, I mean, prices now for players. They're ridiculous. Like Bellerin now goes for 40 mil. He's never been a 40 million pound player. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, mate, I absolutely shit myself. <laughs> you fucking move <laughs> like a concrete on the nut. Mate. It's only a leaf. Who's um, throwing it? <laughs> some kids over there, mate. Um, you never think he's been a forty million pound player, even when he was at the peak, even like a few years before the injury. Oh well, because you've got thirty-eight thousand followers. All right, mate. I see what you've done there. Shit I see what you've done. Shit I ain't counting, but whatever. You are. Um, so I don't want to talk about them because I can't stand them, obviously. Yeah. But I think it's only right that we have to, given uh, what's happened. Yeah. Bow, worried, concerned. Uh, think he'll be a big. Do deal you know again? what? I'm not. I'm not just saying it because it's Tottenham. Mm. Right. But Gareth Bale has yeah. not been playing some hard football for a long time, for a quite a couple of seasons. Yeah, now, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Listen, when he comes on, the Spanish league is fucking. You get all the time in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fine, but the Prem is a different kettle of fish. Mm. Like when people talk about Jaden Sancho, yeah, good player. The German league ain't a fucking sniff on the Prem mm. on a on a week to week basis. I just think with Gareth Bale. You'll get some flashes of brilliance because yeah, he's a yeah. fucking world class player. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. 100%. But is he going to change Spurs' this season? So then what happens to Harry Kane? Oh, they're not gonna be, it's not going to be position like, changing. No, like but now, one, now you were the main man and now you're not the main yeah, man. Yeah, now, now everyone's going to look at Gareth Bale, but yeah. then people will say, oh, yeah, but then it's the pressures off Harry Kane. Yeah, yeah, don't work like that. We're Kane top wants to be what? fucking top dog. Exactly. Kane wants Alan Shearer's record. Yeah, yeah, he wants to be the main man. Yeah. 100%. Um, not overly concerned, but when we play him, he's going to have the, he's like Van der Vaart in fucking two games a season. Turn yeah, up yeah, when he they play up Arsenal. against us, didn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not worried about him. I don't think it'll make a big deal to getting in the top four for them. Um, I don't think they'll get top four. Look, looking at them and uh, trying to bit do it from an unbiased point of view and not hating on them. Yep. It's a fantastic signing because it's just going to boost. Of course it is. It's going to boost every single thing about them. The fans are going to be boosted. The players are going to be boosted. He yeah. is a superstar. Yeah. And when he went to Real Madrid, I loved him at Real Madrid. Mm. I can't even lie. You, yeah. you couldn't. I honestly thought, and I know it's going to sound stupid, and I'm not saying that he's going to be better than Ronaldo or that he was going to emulate him, but no, no, no. When he went there, and you look at the way Cristiano's career was built and the way he was, it was so like it was just similar, wasn't it? It was power. Yeah. It was passion. It was um, pace, physique, agility, everything physique, about him. Yeah. yeah. Work ethic, the way he strikes the ball, the fact that he's was unbelievable in the air. He was there to take over from Ronaldo. Exactly, and I, I think most people thought, right, this geezer's not going to get there because you're not. Gonna, he, I never said he's going to get to Ronaldo's level, but yeah. it was like he's capable of getting not too far behind. Do you know what I mean? Because but, he, that, but that there, that was his those, downfall, I think. Yeah, but those days are gone now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bale won't reach those. No, no. Listen, no, he no, might no. have a come over and have a worldy season, and it'd yeah, be yeah, like yeah. Gareth Bale, but he was bought from Real Madrid to take over from Ronaldo. But those fucking, those fans, no matter what Ronaldo's done for that football club, yeah. he will never be lauded higher than Raul. No, never. 
it doesn't matter. So Gareth Bale going over there. He, had, he didn't have a chance, really. Some did fella he? from Wales. Yeah. He ain't going to fucking And you have a look Ronaldo. at some of his stats compared to some of the other Galacticos. Yeah, yeah. He pisses all over them. Absolutely. But they're not, but he's, he's not, it, Cristiano is not spoken in the same breath from what I see as the real Ronaldo. No, nope, never. Zidane, Figo nope. even. Figo. Beckham Raul. when he was there. Um, even Moriontes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. And what's the other one? The, oh, it was the genius in the midfield. Duty. Oh, mate, he was what a, a genius. Left peg. Yeah, he does. Oh, here we go again. But they don't get spoke about enough when they talk about the Galacticos. No, no, no. no. I mean, he was a genius as well, but no, you're right. He's, Ronaldo won't get to talk about them, and Bale literally had no hope. So, yeah, but so, for but Spurs... I do think uh, Bale can talk all he wants about, like, yeah. oh, um, we, I was going to sign up to a project last season, it yeah. fell through. You fucking... If it, uh, in my opinion, if you wanted to leave and they wanted to get you off you your wage, gone. you, you would have gone. gone. You would have gone, mate. They would have sold you. Of they didn't they want you. Have. Zidane don't want you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so is, is Jose the man to get the best out of him? What, Bale? Yeah. At Will Jose get anything out of him or no. do you think this is just going to go completely wrong? No, I think I think Mourinho will be gone by the end of the season. Before, before the end of the season, yeah. You reckon? Yeah, Spurs fans won't put up with that shit. Spurs fans have been spoiled with some decent football. Yeah, they have to be fair. Still ain't one fuck all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they was playing well. And they of course were. they were. You, you they have were to close. hold your hands up. They, they were, were playing very well, mate. They were close. I just think that their, their brand of football mm. is not the best. And a lot of Tottenham fans, some... Like the certain generations be like, just want to win something, just want to win yeah, an FA yeah, Cup, yeah. anything. But the younger Spurs fans are all about the top much. four, yeah, yeah. beautiful football, beautiful stadium, look yeah. what we got. Mourinho, in my opinion, ain't that bod to take them And forward. the thing is, is their front four, well, front five now, especially included Bow, they should be playing some top quality football, mate, because none of them are mugs. No. Son, Kane, Kane Bow, Bow, even Deli Alley. Like, yeah. None of them are put off footballers. They're not. I, I don't. I don't think they'll put up with him. Um, and he, and I think they'll leave. I think they'll leave him this season. But I don't think Mourinho. I think they'll give him this year. I you think reckon? Levy will have to give him this year. They were using just purely, just purely for the way that they, just purely for the way that they handled the whole situation. That the sacking, of, the sacking of Poch. Yeah. Which I, I don't think they should have done. But then a lot of Tottenham fans I spoke to have said like, if if Pochettino got the back in that Mourinho's just fucking been given. Pochettino, like, they might have gone on. They probably would have gone on, because the only thing that was letting them down was the defence, really, yeah. at a point. And the defence is, I always think, defence is done in cycles, isn't it? You get about They're four, full-backs. Five, you get about four or five years out of a good back four, mm. unless you're clever like Arsenal and buy them all at 21-22. Yeah. But like, you get five years out of them, and then you need to change. You lost yeah. Carl Walker, Danny Rose, who at the point under Poch at his peak were yeah. unbelievable yeah, down yeah. both flanks. And at the point, Jan and Toby, were ridiculously good, mate. Yeah, and then, but then you know, we're getting on. Toby was getting like a, a few niggling injuries. Yeah, and exactly. That. But then when you get when you're replacing Danny Rose, who was at the peak with Ben Davis. Ben Davis, yeah, good backup. Knows his role within the football club. Yeah. Gets his opportunities. Kieran Trippier, all right. He's he's a uh, he's semi decent, but he weren't on the level of same as Carl Walker at the time. Yeah. But then that's when Levy and all that dwell on it a little bit. Give him a chance. But then Toby and fucking Yan, yeah, talking like they're my team, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I know. They're, get, they're getting on, <laughs> closet spurs, but they're getting on a bit, yeah. niggling injuries into their 30s, and it's like, Sanchez, I think, is fucking fantastic. Yeah, yeah I think he's good. Strong, sure. quick, mm. uh, can't play. Yeah, he's good, though. Do you remember when he was in for Aurier? The right oh. back. I'm glad we didn't fucking buy him, eh? Could you imagine? What an headless chicken. Could you imagine we bought him? Or because nah. he went and posted on Twitter that in an Arsenal shirt. Oh, yeah. And we was all like, get him, sad, get him, fucking get Arsenal him. Fans. It's fanboys though, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, glad we didn't get him in the end. So obviously, that's Spurs and their signings. Yep. And then the other club who've obviously done wonders in the market is Chelsea. And you can't knock them. No. And then they've got Liverpool this weekend, haven't yep. they? Yep. What are you going with with that? Especially <coughs> after Liverpool's probably uncharacteristic performance against Leeds. Yep. What do you reckon for that this weekend? I've got Chelsea to win that. Have you? Yeah, just because I, I think Liverpool Liverpool are Liverpool and they're, mm. fucking, they're frightening. I just think that they know they're that good. I think that that can be their downfall a little bit. They can be a little bit lacklustre. Yeah. Counter-attack. they got everything. Got Virgil van Dijk at the back who's just marshalling it. You watch, he's like Rolls-Royce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second yeah. gear all the time. He's this, that and the other. Sometimes I think it's a bit for camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows when the camera's on him. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Chelsea, I, ju- I like what, for them, I like what Lampard's trying to do there. Hmm. Bit of youth and whatnot. Bit of, uh, mixed with a bit of experience. The only thing that lets Chelsea down, yeah. and I know it's very cliche to say because he's been in the news, is Kepa. 
Yeah, yeah. He yeah. ain't a fucking goalkeeper. He's not, is he? To go and win the league, him. He's not. So at what point, no, because this is going to come into conversation because they've spent an absolute fortune. So what happens if there's a few results that don't quite go to plan? Will they give him the season or will he be out the door quickly? I think Lampard... He's still under pressure. Yeah, Even yeah. last year, the people talk about, oh, he's got free reign. He ain't got fucking free reign. That's not how Chelsea operate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because they can't buy players for a year. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no. That's not how it works over there. Yeah, you still have to win. Yeah, yeah. You still have to deliver. I, I, but I still, I still think that, yet again, same with Arteta. You've got to build into the mindset, get on board. This is what we want to do. They got into the top four, got yeah. to an FA Cup final. He's doing the same, right? Yeah, His yeah. first year. Yeah. As, Ch as Chelsea manager. Previously with Derby, the year before, I got to a playoff final, didn't win because Villa mm. were just a little bit better. Um, so Lampard, I still think he gets given the year because of his youth and what he wants to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't give, a, in my opinion, you don't, you're not going to give him over 200 nudge to put into a squad to then some other geezer come in. I didn't do it. But then again, he could end up getting sacked and they'll get Pochettino in. Probably. And you know, Roman, if things don't go to plan, he don't mess around, does he? Don't he doesn't take no at shit. All. He just wants the Champions League. I think he wants just loads of them. Of course he does. He wants everything. And then Liverpool, Thiago. What a player. I see, I, I went, when we used to get Bayern Munich every season in the Champions League, we used to get wanked all over. Yeah. He played in the middle with Tony Cruz. Yeah, unbelievable. We, we, and I, Ozil missed the penalty. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember at the yeah. game? Fuck it. What a player. He is up there, what isn't he? What a player, mate. He is up there. He's like, it, that, those similar type players, him, Santi, mm. and Isco. Mm. Yeah, all yeah, yeah. very similar. Yeah, yeah, Dictate yeah. the play, left foot, right foot, bring it down out of the air. Like, I think, funny enough, he was probably, <clears> for me, he was probably the only man out there that I thought could improve Liverpool. Obviously, apart from well, Messi or Ronaldo and him, but I'm talking about the only realistic player out there that I thought would improve them. Could go into Liverpool's team and because be Because I don't think, you're, you're not touching their back five. No. Nope. You're not touching no, anything. No, no, no. You're not touching their back three. Front I mean, three. front three. You're yeah. not, they're not touching that. Yeah. So all that leaves is midfield. Can't get rid of Henderson because Henderson doesn't. For me, Henderson doesn't get anywhere near enough respect that he should do. Nah, he annoys me. He not, I think he annoys everyone, but I don't think. In I, your football team, I don't he's think great. He, he don't, don't get enough credit. He doesn't. Hunting. Not for what he does. Not just because when you think about over the last two years that like he's captain decided to lose a league by one point, but yeah. won the Champions League. He comes back the year later, captains him to win the league by thirty odd points. Captains him through lockdown. Yeah. Captains the whole Premiership players leading him to donate. Yeah. to the NHS and that yeah. like that's a leader yeah. and then how on earth Southgate has Kane as England captain over him but it's the same bollocks I don't understand mate when like you had Tony Adams one of the greatest England centre arts yeah. of all time Alan Shearer's fucking yeah. captain yeah. David Beckham's captain it's crap mate who gives a it's fuck crap. it's crap oh it's, oh it's for their for their well-being fuck their well-being yeah, yeah, they yeah. ain't captain it is it's absolute crap no like striker that. should be captain no, it needs to centre be centre-half centre centre or goalkeeper, I think. Anyone Goal who can see yeah. the whole thing. Well, yeah. you look, Manuel Neuer. Anyone who can see the whole thing yep. should be captain for me. And yeah. I think it should always be a centre-half because a centre-half should always be a leader, yeah. the big boy, the main man. Yeah. I think it should be. But for Southgate to pick Kane over him, like Kane's not even his club but yet, captain. But yet again, You're not even your club captain, pal. You've not won nothing. Every semi-final or final you get to, you bottle. Why on earth are you captain? Arsenal. How are you going to put your arm around Jaden Sancho, Mason Greenwood in the semi-finals and finals and say, fucking hell, boys, we don't lose this? When you, You'd be like because, yeah, fucking spitting in my ear, yeah, all, all you do, mate, is lose, mate. So I don't <laughs> get how, because Henderson, Henderson's a leader and, and I don't think he gets enough credit. But back to where we was. You can't take him out. No. Nope. And then obviously Fabinho. He's done better. You ain't going to take him out. Yeah. So all you had was that other midfield position. And I think he was the only thing who... You, you weren't going to get a number 10 at Liverpool. That's not how they play. That's not how they play. No. So I think he was the only man that has made them better. But I think I think a lot of football like that nowadays is, is you don't have a nat natural number 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's You've got to have that creative spark, but then someone that can get up and down the pitch. It's the way the football is. It's, it's all about energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously and ability, but yeah, Thiago, I think... You know what you're going to get from him. Yeah, he's going to. He's going like, to. He's going to. He's, he'll calm it down. Yeah. He'll probably tell fucking Anderson like, just stop shouting at me. Yeah, yeah. I've got it under control. He's got the range of passing. He's got the. He's got the crab. He's got the sideways. Yeah. He's got that. He do every. He can do everything. But one of the three, because Milner's kicking on. Yeah. But Milner's one of those. It'll fuck. He'll go and go. He'll just go anywhere, won't he? Yeah. yeah Manager's yeah, yeah. dream. Yeah, yeah, of course he's. Um, Ox. Yep. People can go on about him all day. Like, oh, you Arsenal fans, how'd you feel? Couldn't give a Could fuck, mate. Me neither. Don't care. Nope. 
he's if if Ox is going to be a starter, he would have been a starter by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jurgen Klopp already knows yeah, you yeah. are not going to be in the first eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good squad player. Yeah. And he always, was that at Arsenal? Was never consistent enough to start every single Premier League game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's a very good squad player. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, again, you've got to know your role. You've got to know it. Um, so Thiago with Henderson and Fabinho, yeah, fucking, they're going to be frightening again. They are, aren't they? Yeah, I just, but I, this weekend, I just think Chelsea will, will beat them. Hip them. So Stamford Bridge as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So then, obviously that's Chelsea, Liverpool, and then the other two are back this week. Yeah. First time back. Mm-hmm. City away at Wolves. Yep. And United at home to Palace. Yeah, didn't Wolves beat City last year? Yeah. And they'd be 2 0 down. Concerned about Man United at all? Nah. Not all? N- nah. I just, I just don't know. Mm. It's, it annoys me even when we play them now. It's like it's some of their worst squads in fucking years. Yeah. And we still fucking make them look semi decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully this season's a bit different. Yeah. Um, I just, yeah, I don't worry I'm about not, I'm not. I'm not fussed by Man United, or I said that last week. They're very really, inconsistent. Really not fussed by Man United. But with Man United, though, they, they, they can turn up for big games mm. and then let themselves down in the smaller ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not, I'm not overly fussed about them. They're not going to be in the top top three. They'll be challenging for the top top four. Yep. But I think the, the three are given. Of, it's, uh, but Man United, nah. Yeah. There's, there's too much attention's all on fucking Pogba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that I'm, affects them, I think. I'm, I'm not worried about Man United. Even with the signing of Donny van der Beek, I'm really not worried no. at all. They need a striker. Yeah, definitely. A proper out and 25, out. 30 goal a season yeah, striker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then City. Obviously, they, they're going to be back. City, they? Yeah, they're going to be ready to tear everyone to pieces. Yeah. I think with, with Pep Guardiola, yet again, is he is win, win, win. Yeah. Not at all costs, but it's like we play the right way and he will get into them and yet again I think this is where Arteta's got it from is that if you ain't pulling your stripes you ain't playing yeah 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 like people go on about John Stones he's he's falling out of favour there yeah, people yeah. think he's like hey, decent ball playing centre half but you just ain't got that bit about you you ain't got what he wants have you and, and then when you've got around. fucking Otamendi playing ahead of you you know you're doing something wrong yeah yeah because yeah. I think he's dog wank and all Oh, you got oh, mate. Yeah, 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 he's terrible, isn't he? Fucking pit bull. He ain't, he's not a football player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do need another centre half, I think. Laporte, Laporte's on a different level. Mustard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah left footed? Foot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on a whole, <laughs> he's on a whole other level, Laporte. Yeah. But I, ju- I just think, yet again, it's uh, if Laporte stays injury free, yeah. Man City will be closer to Liverpool. I think Man City win it this year. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think they, I think they absolutely batter everyone this season. And I'll be happy to put money on that wheel. I like Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, he's unbelievable. What a isn't he? player! What a passer of a fucking football. He's ridiculous, isn't he? Yeah. Kun Aguero. I'm still shocked about the Sane one though. I want to let him go because I love Leroy Sane. I thought we would have could have got him on loan. Do you? Wishful thinking. Yeah, 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 and all that, But yeah, he's. But I think there's something going on now. And then now he's gone over there. That mob are just going to be unbelievable. Not yeah. that they're not unbelievable anyway. Yeah, but, they're but now they've got they're a well oiled machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you've got Alfonso Davies and Leroy Sane on the Nabry left wing. on the other side. And How we let him go? Good job. When, when he was at Arsenal a few years ago, when we had them fucking moody Puma kits. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Puma. They fucking let us down there, didn't they, with those kits? What, the kits? Puma. Shocking, fucking weren't they? so bad. But you know, you know the skin tight one? I think it was Sanchez's first season. Skin tight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nabry was in a reserve game. Yeah. And he had like one of the fucking one I got on, like a fat boy one. Yeah. It was all baggy and everything. Everyone else is like slim. Yeah, they were ridiculous. Supreme. Them kids. Yeah, he had, a, he had a fat one. Pulis didn't have him at West Brom, did he? Nope. Didn't like him. Didn't like him. And now look at he's a uh, winning Champions League. Yeah, now they've got him. That's unbelievable. So then before we get into predictions, because yep. I want to know your thing for the season, I'm going to quick fire him at you. No thinking about it. You yeah. need to give me the answer. All right. Let's talk about the main thing, probably one of the biggest things of the summer, I think. Uh, the main, uh, Messi. For me. Do you think he should have gone? Or you think he's played it well and staying there now? Or what do you think? Messi was never leaving Barcelona. No, I didn't think ever. he was. I- irrespective of how well Pep Guardiola sucked his nuts off yeah, yeah, yeah. at Barca, he was never leaving Barca. Um, was it like a more of a political thing to get more money, to get the president out that they've got there? Yeah. Fuck knows. He's never leaving Barcelona. He, for me, is the greatest player of all time. Yeah, undoubtedly. It, do, it doesn't even come close, I don't think. He ain't, it's not a, he, it's, what he can do with a football. You can't, no one else can do. Nah. You can't teach. No, no, no. You can't. If people, pu- some, the people that like Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo ahead of him, are people that like Herbalife and like, like their <laughs> physique. 
they're the type of people that like Cristiano Ronaldo or they're Man United fans. <laughs> That's Herbalife. It. it is Herbalife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't Whereas let... us natural, talented, gifted people. Yeah, yeah. left foot. Yeah, left <laughs> foot. But people going about Cristiano Ronaldo can use his left foot. Yeah, but this line No, no, no. I, I, I'm messy all day long. I am messy. Yeah. I see him, the turn where the ball comes into him, he dips his shoulder, dips the other one, and he's just left four people in the middle of the box looking yeah. like, what the hell? And I always think... You even flinch when you look at it on yeah, TV, yeah, yeah. didn't you? I always think... You can you can probably see another Cristiano Ronaldo. You'll Bale. See, you'll, yeah, well, obviously you didn't reach it, but I'm saying you'll see someone, wouldn't you? Like it's all work hard, dedication. You can see that. Yeah, I Cristiano Ronaldo is grafted to where yeah. he is. He is it, so it's Messi and then him. Yeah, whereas Messi, I don't think we'll see another Messi. Not for a long time, mate. Yeah. Not I for think, a... On the heartstrings, though. Yeah. My my favourite player, not Arsenal. Was yeah. Ronaldo, fat boy. Original Ronaldo. Mate, what a player. Yeah, my one's Ronaldinho. Is it really, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Take yeah. your fucking pick. Right, mate, or Rivaldo. Oh, or anyone. The R's, isn't it? Yeah, but that, no, Ronaldinho for your me Your brother was... would probably fucking pick Dunga or something like that, And Rooney it? would probably pick himself. Rooney would probably pick himself the dickhead. We said non-Arsenal, you pillock. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> no R- R- Ronaldinho for me, all day long. Yeah. Genius. Fair enough. Genius, right. Quick fire predictions. Go on, sweet. Don't even think about it. Answer. Winner of the league. Liverpool. Top four. Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea. Relegated. Fulham, West Ham, West Brom. Top goal scorer. Aguero. Oh. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, nice curveball, eh? Aguero. Yeah. It's a nice cushion you got there, mate. It's lovely, isn't it? Superb. You're very uh, Wenger 2.0, aren't you? What do you mean? Well, Wenger with the water bottles, you with the fucking cushions. Oh, so you're like Uber 2.0, with you with a picking up and dropping people off. You've been watching the Bearded Football Show with myself, Bo the Beard. Make sure you subscribe, like and comment below. Comment who you'd like to see me interview next. You can find me on my socials below. You can find Silly Bollocks John over here at the Ned and on the socials below. You're gonna do some kick-ups for me, I ain't forgot, with your wonderful left peg. And you can end it for me this week. Lovely. Up the Arsenal. Yeah. Right, considering we've had 20 minutes of us listening to your wonderful left peg, yep. I want five kick-ups, left peg only. If you touch it with that, it doesn't count. Right. Five kick-ups, volley, at the crossbar. Don't mess it up, Messi. It is a bit windy. Couldn't care less, mate. Cool, okay. when, just... I pl- when I play golf, I hit the ball into the wind and let it drag back. Get involved. We'll let it settle, we'll let it settle. We've got a little set that down, have we? We'll let it settle, go on, mate. That's a wind up, isn't it? Just do it, mate. Look at the goal! <laughs> the goal's bad. It's changed postcodes. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, we're in Bethnal Green, mate. Ain't fucking Hollywood. From the floor or on the air? Just, just, you can't oh, do, just do it. Oh, and that's a wrap. The goal shrunk. Can have another go? No, no, no. No. <laughs> nah. Go on. Right peg. Two, three, four, five. No, I'm not having that. No, that hit it, mate. No. Did you catch that? Please, please tell me you caught that. Please tell me you caught that. That's right foot beauty. Nailed it. And I'm a centre off. Bearded football show with Bo the Beard.